recruitment industry so you know the recruitment industry uh, since you are all from an, uh, uh, from uh, business management so you know the recruitment industry so i started uh, as a recruitment consultant so the recruitment consultant is a kind of a job where you have to uh, kind of uh, you will act as a bridge between the client and the resources here the resources are the manpower resources and the client is from the different uh, domains so i work with clients like uh, banking clients i work with manufacturing industries like india cements uh like uh, prikal like lg industries so all these clients are uh, so what is the, that is the platform where i learned of uh, as a as an enterprise point of view what they recommend okay it's not a kind of only uh, we are providing the manpower services and they are taking not not like so they will give the manpower recommend in all the different different sections like they will seek the people from finance domain they will seek the people for the marketing and sales they will pick the people in manufacturing so we have to understand from we have to understand the enterprise first what's the culture of the enterprise what's the recommend and uh, what's the background what's the turnover so what is the product and what's the we should have all the knowledge we should know the company as our company then only we can give the people to them then they will hire our people okay so that is uh, i worked as an um, i worked almost for uh, Three years in the recruitment industry. Then I was uh, when I quit the recruitment consultant uh, that industry. I was the branch manager in Bangalore. Then I quit. Then I uh, studied uh, some data warehousing concepts. Then I become I, I went into the IT industry. So once in the, I get into the IT industry, my first client was uh, uh, Vodafone Germany. So I worked there in Germany. I handled the client Vodafone in Germany. Then Vodafone Netherlands. then uh, i moved to uae where uh, there is one tele famous telecom company uh, i forget that name uh, that's a famous telecom company in uh, uae then uh, i moved to malaysia i was there in malaysia for almost 6 uh, years then i was there in, uh, as a permanent role uh, as a assistant vice president in uh, ocbc it's a bank overseas chinese banking corporation so i was vice president in it it section for the uh, ocbc in this malaysia then after that i came back to india i started my own business uh, i i started my uh, and so own consulting company it consulting company so that time i was uh, handling pure erp uh, i was providing the pure erp services for uh, healthcare uh, domains healthcare clients in us then after that after uh, that was going fine then but because of my family situation i had decided to come back to corporate world so i quit the uh, job and i i made my own business i came back to singapore So now uh, I was a account manager for Cognizant. Here I'm handling two accounts. One is uh, OCBC and another one is UOB. So both are banking customers. Where we are here, we are handling the accounts in data warehousing projects, ERP projects, and uh, some mobile uh, platform pl- projects also we are handling here. So this is what about me. And so this is about the timeline. so the current uh, this is the part where uh, me and uh, uh, dr sundar pandian we were discussing so what happening in the current part is uh, we are going to school and after coming to the school and we are going to the college and uh, and we get the graduate and become we are the graduates then what's next because this is the part where people always uh, until we become graduate we are under the shadow of our parents or and our uh, Our staff and our uh, teachers, professors. So the where the people are, the, you are in between, uh, or you are surrounded by people who are all your your well wishes. They are treated like you as a kid, and they are ready to teach you. They are ready to train you. They are taking care of you. So everything is going fine until this part. But after this one, once you come out of your convenient zone and you are step into your uh, practical world. that's where the real pain will start so because this 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 are all the hurdles we face in our experience in our from our experience i'm telling you uh, uh, maybe my generation so we did even my uh, my friends who studied in big big colleges uh, get the mbas or uh, uh, even uh, b it or b mechanical or b civil whoever we are all face this issue because once i we can come out of uh, step out of our convenient zone then the real world is totally different because there are people you will be around or you will be a part of uh, a crowd who will not take care of you 
who will not guide you there because that i am not blaming them because there is no time for them to guide you even if you that's what whenever if you go for if any of you uh, go and search for a job in any job portals in nagpuri or any monster have you searched any or any any of these portals job portals okay if not uh, please uh, try to look at it if you go for go uh, go and search for a fresher you will not uh, you can see the 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 number of jobs is very less but if you go and show the experience as two years or three years then uh, you can get a uh, so many jobs out there and the people out there they are they want the day from the day one they want the result because they don't have the time to hire you and then train you and then uh, assign you a task then it will take one year or two year they are really they are going to invest on you so that investment cost is uh, is a huge burden for them so instead of that they are uh, they are ready to hire some experienced person who can deliver the uh, things from the day one onwards so how we are going to fill the gap this this gap is very very critical that's what i am really admire mr subrapandian because he is he is really from a industry background and he is really taking care of you that's what the that's what he is training you to fill the gap so uh, don't worry about uh, what's next but we have to be careful and we have to be ready okay we cannot skip that part it's a part and parcel of our life we have to go we have to pass this step so the let's learn that's what uh, he is arranging this uh, this kind of uh, interaction sessions with the industry experts so when we can share our experience and also i am i, I will at the end of the session i will share my personal mail id so at any time you can uh, talk to me or you can call or you can mail me okay we are we can uh, discuss later also okay so this is a part so once you come out of uh, your uh, college then there are a lot and lot of options out there okay you can become a hr that from your uh, mba point of view i am i prepared this slide okay so you can become a hr you can become a finance guy or a business analyst guy or you become an entrepreneur or you become part of uh, information technology logistics sales marketing event management rural management statistics international business there are a lot of uh, options are for you correct hello listening yes sir okay so yes, sir. lot and lot of opportunities are there. correct so okay, you can become an other it's not because of you are you taken up you because since you are i have taken a major of mba hr it doesn't mean that you cannot go into information technology or sales or marketing correct there are opportunities are there but how we are going to become a part of how we can switch that part because that we have to improve our knowledge not only one particular division we have to we have to spread we have to uh, place our foot on entire or as much as possible that we have to spread our wings okay then only we can or else if our if our view is very narrow then it is very tough okay okay so basically there are only two kind of people in the world okay so i believe uh, there are uh, i will tell you some examples okay those who are following the principles of oslo are those who principle following the principles of vivekananda i am <clears throat> maybe you are uh, very new to uh, there the word of oslo and all but i'm telling you there the principles of that knowingly or unknowingly we are following these people these two people principles only. one is a kind of people like okay let's do the graduation how they are taking the graduation because sir my father asked me graduation my father asked me to do the uh, this uh, asked me to go to the job my father asked me to wear this shirt my father asked me to marry this girl so everything is like their father's wish or they are they are the people they are taking as the life come as it is okay they don't have any uh, ambitions they don't have any big targets nothing just they are i'm not telling that is wrong that is also a perfect life okay because they are taking as the life how the life it is coming they are taking as it is uh, like uh, if you know the act of satira he is the kind of the person uh, who is going as it is so you don't have any big ambitions and all if it is going okay let's go in this way in this direction he will go in this direction until the direction is done that path ends then he will look for the options okay there is a window in the left side or the right side he will take in that way so that is one part 
that is one way of living our life. It's a kind of one way of lifestyle. Okay. That's what he is telling. Don't swim against the current. Stay in the river. Become the river. So your life will be easy. So you will travel in the direction of the river. There is another person who is the contradiction of uh, just opposite to Osho. You, Vivekananda. So if you think is uh, he will tell you like, uh, okay, see, take an idea. Think about that idea. Eat that idea. Digest that idea and become the idea. So you will go in that idea only. He forget about all other ideas. He take one ambition and he wants you to become the ambition. Even sleeping or even driving or eating or whatever you are doing, you have to think about only one that particular target. So at the end of the day, you become success in that particular way. So that's what he's telling like a thing. You have to be, have to be very careful when we are thinking than we talking. Because the word, the uh, the the thoughts are more powerful than the words. That's what he said. So this is this is the kind of people like they have the target, they have a vision. They want I want to become an engineer. He want to become an engineer. He would, he won't think about uh, someone his uh, his friend has become a doctor. He won't find that. He won't bother. He will go only because he want to be an engineer. He want to be an engineer. He will go in on that particular direction. So you can see only these two kind of people. Okay, either way we have to live. So one is. As it is, it's coming, other person is, as it is, they are going. So other person is, okay, they have a target and they will go in, in that particular target. So now you are a MBA, Master of Business Administration, you are become a management guy, okay? So either way, if you are, if you fall under both categories, you have to do this one, okay? Either 